My name is Giovanna Bernal. I'm a Panama attorney with more than 15 years of experience. And one of the questions is, all of my documents are in English and from the United States. Where should I get them translated into Spanish and legalized? I want to do this correctly. This is a very common question and you don't have to translate the documents into Spanish because that has to be done in Panama. We need to hire an official translator that will do this process for us and will sign. There is a list of official translators in the Ministry of Education and those are the only ones that can sign um, an official translation in Panama. And for authentication or legalization of documents, uh, there are different places. For example, there are companies that offer the service of an apostille. You can also do this directly by uploading your documents or sending them to the um, State of Department. And the other option, which is the one I see the most, is by sending them or, uh, um, or getting an appointment with a Panamanian consulate near you. The Panamanian consulate will certify the documents. Basically what they do is that they certify that the signature of a public officer is valid. Another question is, for the fixed term deposit investment, we have to open the bank account as a tax non-resident and then apply for residency through investment. But I thought that the Panamanian banks don't open accounts for non-residents. Is that right? Seems like a catch-22. This is a very good question. Um, and I have to say that many of the traditional local banks will only open accounts to residents. However, those banks will also have like a different segment or an international uh, department where they will open accounts to non-residents. At the same time, if you're interested also in opening a bank account because you are applying for residency, some of the banks will let you do that if an attorney signs a letter certifying that your visa is in process. Therefore, if you're interested in the permanent residency through opening a CD, a fixed term deposit, there are banks that will definitely help you open the account, whether it's remotely or by visiting Panama. They will help you, they will give you, right now they are giving very good um, interest rates from four to 6%, and they will help you open the fixed term deposit so you can obtain your residence in Panama. Another question is, I'm in the process of obtaining Italian citizenship. Once I get it, I'd be interested in learning more about the ways to get residency permit of my Italian passport. This is a very good question. A lot of people don't know that if they hold an Italian passport, a second citizenship, they can obtain permanent residency in Panama. This is a very easy way to obtain residency if you have the Italian passport because you just have to show that you have a, a Panamanian company with shirts and also that you have the Italian citizenship and a second Italian ID that can be an ID from Italy or a certificate of citizenship from your nearest Italian embassy. With this type of visa, the applicant will obtain permanent residency in less than six months and also the e-cedula. Another question is, hello, for the temporary visa for US citizens, you mentioned one of the ways they will approve your stay is if you are going to school in Panama, can it be a school I'm going to learn Spanish? What type of schooling is considered acceptable? Please advise and thanks so much. This is a very good question. If you don't know, there is a visa for US citizens that is temporary, is for one year, and you can extend that for up to five years. You can use this type of visa, for example, if you are close to retirement and you want to move to Panama earlier, 
or if you have a limited budget and you still want to move to Panama without applying to the friendly nations visa or making an investment. Therefore, what you need to show is that you want to work or study or open a company in Panama. With regards to this question, uh, yes, if the applicant shows that he's going to study in Panama by showing a type of course, it works because this is not a student visa. We have a student visa, which is for full time students for high school or college or university. And this, in these type of cases, we do need to show a full program. But for this type of temporary visa, we can show a course in Spanish uh, as a as a document that uh, support that will support the application. Another question is, you didn't talk about opening a business in Panama as an entrepreneur. Is 200K still a requirement? Okay, this is another visa. I haven't made a video of this visa yet because it's not as popular as the others. However, there is a type of permanent residency by investment in a business, which means that if you invest the amount of 150K in a business in Panama, let's say um, you open a restaurant and you hire people and you buy an office and the whole amount of the investment is at least 150,000, you are eligible for permanent residency under this category. The most important thing is to show by showing invoices. The most important thing is to show and prove for example, by showing invoices that the investment has been made on a business in Panama. And finally, I would invite you to like and share this video, subscribe to this channel, follow us on social media, and if you're interested in learning more about our services, you can always click on the link below for a Zoom consultation. Thank you, bye-bye.